Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, Black Forest, Hell on Earth. We're gonna make this work. It's, uh, it's actually, I didn't mention this in the last episode, but it's actually, it's Thanksgiving today, Canadian Thanksgiving. As a Canadian, Thanksgiving is a, uh, a particularly enjoyable event, just because Americans freak out. <laughs> when, uh, when you're like, happy Thanksgiving, you know, because you're, you're, you're happy and you're thankful and all this kind of stuff for all this stuff. I don't really particularly care for it personally I, I understand the uh, the benefit I understand the the draw of it but um, I just I don't I don't particularly care for for all the uh, celebratory stuff you know, turkey's not necessarily my uh, my go-to food choice you know a lot of people get excited about their turkey dinner I get excited personally about the leftover turkey that you can turn into turkey soup and then have like turkey bacon sandwiches dip it in the soup and mm, it's so scrumptious um, we're not doing that this year, though, so kind of, kind of unfortunate. But I always, uh, I always like Thanksgiving just because I get to uh, get to say Happy Thanksgiving to my uh, my American friends, and they're like, "It's not Thanksgiving yet. Thanksgiving is next month." And I'm like, "Nope, it's this month. It's today. It's today." And uh, it's always it's always funny to me because. The American Thanksgiving is in uh, November. Canadian Thanksgiving is October, and uh, a lot of Americans don't know this. A lot of Americans don't know that uh, things change as you go through the countries because you just don't think about it, right? Like, it'd be like saying like Christmas is on a different day in Canada, you know? Like, it just it doesn't make sense, but it, that's that's how it is. So, you know, survivalist level two. That's why we prestiged, baby. One of these days we'll be level 25 on max prestige survivalist without having to do a single round. Let's go. Smack, dude. Um, a lot of Americans don't think about it, right? Because why would you? I don't blame them, but uh, as a Canadian I do get to kind of laugh at them. And uh, one other thing that's kind of fun actually on, on that front is that... Uh, as a Canadian, you have to think about the differences with America a, a lot more than Americans have to think about the differences with Canada. Because as much as I hate it, America is a much more important country than Canada. It's it's much it's much more in the spotlight, I guess we'll say. Not necessarily important, but uh, they're they're more relevant a lot of the time than Canada. So if you if you don't live in America, I'm sure you you understand the sentiment here. America. You know, I, I know more about, like, it's true of a lot of Canadians, actually. Probably a lot of people in, uh, in other parts of the world as well. But, um, I probably know more American presidents than I know Canadian prime ministers. Like, by name, you know? And, uh, I think that's true of a lot of Canadians. Because American politics are just more relevant in, in a lot of the time. Or at least, not, not, not necessarily relevant to my life, but, uh, you know, we, we like even our news stations talk about American politics more than they talk about Canadian politics, and that that's largely because the you know American elections go on for like you know two years, and then Canadian elections go on for like you know a month or two, typically. So it, it's a lot. It's you know, it's, it's just longer. So you you talk about it more, right? Which is is fine, but um, it's uh. More, you know, you, you talk about it more, and uh, you know about it more, and it's, it's... Honestly, it has about the same impact on Canada a lot of the times. The, uh, the American presidents and stuff like that. It's, uh, it has a, uh, A similar impact. I mean, obviously, uh, a Canadian Prime Minister has more of an impact, but, like... I, I, I tell you, America's politics really do affect Canada in a, uh, In a pretty large way. And, um... So the, our news stations talk about it and stuff, right? And so we, we, we know more about uh, American politics. We know more about Amer things that are happening in America. American news stories. We get American, like, TV stations even. So, like, you know, it's... it's uh, as a Canadian, we know more about American um, about America than Americans know about Canada. Just because if you're living in America, Canada doesn't really affect you that much, right? Like, Canada's existence is there as, like... Uh, Oh yeah, they live above us, you know? Whereas for uh, for Canada, we're always kind of like, huh, I wonder what America's going to do next to just kind of royally mess us up. <laughs> and uh, you, have to be, you have to be kind of more aware of it. So 
you know, as a Canadian, we know more about the differences and the similarities and stuff. And then he gets to talk about it with uh, with Americans who don't pay as much attention to it because, again, it's just not as relevant to them. It's, you know, I don't, I've never lived in America. I've uh, I went there for a uh, a vacation one year back in 2007. We went to Disneyland, and um, yeah. you know, back then I didn't really pay attention to commercials and TV and stuff. We got most of the same content on TV. You know, I, I still went down there. We still watching Berenstain Bears and and all this kind of good stuff, right? And um, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a fun time and all that, but I didn't pay attention to, to the intricacies of the, of the politics and all that because I was, you know, 12 at the time, and I didn't care. Um, I still barely care, so let alone back then, you know? Have you checked your ammo? Uh, anyway, uh, you know, you kind of just... Um, I, don't, I don't know how much uh, America talks about Canada, but, but Canada talks about America all the time. You know, we talk about the American elections, we talk about American events, we talk about uh, all this kind of stuff, because it's just relevant. We have to know it, because the Americans won't, and when we talk to Americans, we have to explain it to them. <laughs> like the differences between Canadian and American Thanksgiving, and and uh, all, all this kind of stuff. So I always find it kind of funny as we're uh, talking to Americans, and we get to explain the uh, the minute difference between the uh, the two countries in the in the places where they, they might be similar you know we both have Thanksgiving but different days we both have uh, uh, what is it there, there are other differences that I just can't think of them off the top of my head I'm not good when you're putting me on the spot like this to be honest with you um, but uh, yeah I just always find it fun because Americans don't know it you know, Americans don't know it, and then you're talking about it, and they're like, wait, what? <laughs> you're like, yeah, it's just, that's how it is, you know? They got, uh, they got their election stuff going on right now. We're not going to talk about it much. Um, I don't want to get into politics and all that too much on, uh, on camera, to be honest with you. I think it's a bad idea to be, uh, politically focused on, uh, on a YouTube series where you're trying to grow an audience, and, you yeah, know, it doesn't really matter. You know, if, if you're the kind of person who's like, heck yeah, let's abolish gay marriage, you're allowed to watch my videos. I'm not going to say you can't. You know, as long as you're you're sitting here and you're being, uh, I'm not saying this because, uh, you know, if you're if you're inclined towards that end, that you're not uh, respectful. But anybody who's of any political inclination, as long as you're sitting here, you're being respectful. I don't care whether you're, whether you're, you know, Republican, conservative, Democrat. Alt right, alt left. I don't care, dude. As long as you're sitting here, you're enjoying the videos and you're having fun. It just, it doesn't matter. I don't want to drag politics into it too much, but, um, and we're not gonna. We're not talking about politics, okay? But they got their election going on right now, and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like I said, you know, all I, all I, all I see it in the news, I see, you know, friends talking about it and stuff, and it seems like a very, uh, eventful time right now in America. Um, but, uh, it's, uh, it's always good fun. It's good fun. We have, we have to be concerned about it up here too, right? I have, I have, uh, I don't, I don't get a say in the matter, but, uh, what happens does kind of affect me. You know, oftentimes people are like, if you didn't vote, you don't get to complain. But I'm like, I don't, I'm not allowed to vote, so. I wish I, I wish I, I almost wish I could, because, uh. I'm not going to say that there's, like, kind of, a. Uh, a trickle down effect because that that's not quite it but um Am Am americans being more conservative tends to affect canadians we, we see the same media right and it, uh, it affects us in a similar way as as people are doing things and so as as uh so we end up with uh, not 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 it's not the exact same kind of output output you know but um definitely definitely a a, a kind of uh you're just affected by the media right that's the point of the media um, is to, to affect your, your your decisions and your opinions and stuff. Like that's that's what they're trying to do, and and they're doing it right. Down you go. Anyway, it's uh, I don't, I don't get to say that I'm uh, I'm totally uh, separated from the issue just because you know if you live in like uh, Germany or something, you're probably like yeah whatever the Americans do as long as they're not firing nukes at us, I don't really care. As a Canadian, I mean there 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 is a more direct effect on it for sure but uh 
I don't, I don't really like getting into politics. I don't like talking about my opinions on it. I don't like talking about your opinions on it. You know, I, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm sure you guys can, can figure out from, from my existence <laughs> what, what sort of inclination I have towards. Uh, oh, jeez. We have, we have, oh, we have, uh, we have some, we have, we have picked up some ammo. Good. I'm sure you guys can figure out sort of what my, uh, my, my inclinations are, what my opinions are to a, to a certain extent anyway, but I just don't think it's important to talk about, honestly, on, uh, on camera. It just doesn't matter, you know? It just doesn't matter. Who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't affect your, your ability to watch my videos. It doesn't affect my video, my ability to make videos. It's all good. You know, there there are certain people. Yeah, I, I will say, I don't, I don't care what your what your political stance is. If you're if you're bringing it into the uh, into the comments and stuff like that, yeah, your comments may get deleted if you're not being like civil and stuff. You know, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you're if you're attacking the other side in my comments, if it somehow gets on to that topic, like it's just I, I just don't want it, dude. It's not what it's about, you know. It ends up happening though everywhere, right? Especially during election season. People always get uh, super antsy about it. After the election's over, you know, the, the losing side's always going to complain for the... <laughs> this, is, this is true everywhere, right? Like, the losing side's going to complain the whole time, and the winning side's going to kind of be braggadocious the whole time, and it's just kind of a, a thing that ends up happening, regardless of uh, who wins and who loses. Um, but... It's, uh... Oh... I hear, I hear death. Yeah, we got a Scrake. Scrake's no big deal. We'll leave the Scrake alive. I don't mind the Scrake living. We'll, uh, we'll consume that, uh, that spawn spot. We can leave him alive. Doesn't matter, dude. Doesn't matter. Scrake gets to live. Scrake gets to live. Congratulations. Today, today you die. Okay, you, you walked into a bullet, you got mad about it, I killed you. You could have just been peaceful, respectful, that's what I'm talking about, as long as you don't raise a... I did shoot him, but as long as, as, long as you don't raise... I'm not going to shoot you guys, okay? As long as you don't raise a stink, I'm not going to kill you. And I'm not saying that if you do raise a stink, I am going to kill you, I'm just saying if you do, you might not necessarily wake up tomorrow. It's not a threat, it's just a statement. Okay? Kill you with uh, with the Glock. I don't care, dude. I hear a flesh pound. I hear another flesh pound behind us. By the way, don't think I don't. I hear it, dude. I don't hear it anymore, so maybe I'm insane. I hear it though. It's right there, dude. You you have to to go, and we have another flesh. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna try and knock you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to win a Hell on Earth match. No! Oh, man. That one sucked. We just got, like, I hate that they spawn in rage. That's what I hate, dude. That's what I hate. These tickets are garbage. I don't like any of them. They all suck. They all suck. And I'm salty. I'm mad, dude. I'm slamming on my desk. I'm not slamming that hard. I'm not really that mad. You guys watch that uh, angry video game nerd? You know the keyboard smash? It's like the German dude screaming in German and stuff. That must have been a fun video to record. I don't know. I don't know if it was genuine. I don't understand German. I never followed up with it. All I remember was as a uh, as a wee lass, I would uh, I would watch it and. Um, I would, uh, I'd be like, haha, this is so funny, he threw his keyboard at the wall, you know? And, yeah, we were immature little children. That's the kind of stuff that you watch as a child. I remember the first YouTube video I watched in general, actually, was, um, a plane crash. <laughs> Which is, like, you know, kind of brutal. We, we watched it at, uh, at school. My friend discovered YouTube. That's right. Uh, he discovered YouTube. This is back in... Oops, I'm sorry. Back in like 2003 or 2004, 2005, I don't know. Probably probably like pretty close to when YouTube first came out and became a thing. Um, 
You know what? When did when did YouTube uh, become a thing? When did YouTube become a thing? February 14th, 2005. So it would have been probably, yeah, 2005. I don't think I was older than 10 years old. Um, yeah, it would have been like... 2005, dude. And, um... Maybe, maybe late 2005. Anyway. Yeah, he had discovered YouTube. It was like this new thing, you know. God, I feel I feel old now. Cause like how many how many kids are growing up these days? How many of how many of you guys watching that? Well, I don't know. My my viewers tend to be a little bit around my age, so perhaps we're of uh, similar histories. I can't shoot, dude. I can't shoot. I'm mad. I'm bad. I'm sad, and I'm. Uh, I don't know what else rams with bad. Um, I gotta do some cad. I don't know. Um, you guys are probably like similar, but I, it makes me feel old sometimes thinking about it, right? Because I have like I have like friends, you know, I have friends who grew up being shown YouTube videos, you know, like like as a child, their parents were like showing them YouTube videos to get them to be quiet. like you don't watch TV, you you watch YouTube videos, you know? Insane. Because as a uh, as a child, it wasn't until it wasn't until I was like. Almost a teen. That uh, I was like ten years old, maybe eleven years old at the uh, at the just absolute latest when I uh, first discovered YouTube. And I was nine and a half when YouTube even like became a thing at all. You know, like how many of you guys were watching YouTube before you were nine and a half years old? It didn't even exist at that point for me, which is like I don't know, it makes me feel old at times. You know, my my age doesn't. I'm 25 years old. That doesn't really make me feel old. What makes me feel old is just seeing the uh, the difference in uh, in how people are raised with the the new technology and all this kind of stuff. Like, God, I remember getting my first phone when I was, and it wasn't even like a good phone. It was a flip phone. Okay, when I was like 16 years old or something. And that wasn't because my parents were like, "Oh, you can't have a phone." No, it was because like phones were a thing, but not. Not everybody. I was when I got my phone. I was one of the cool kids because I had a phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They, they, we, like we, the iPods came out at one point, and uh, everybody was everybody was talking about that and how like cool the iPod is and stuff. And it had a touch screen. Oh, we were like jailbreaking it, and like it was it was sick, dude. It was sick. It was sick as. Um. Anyway. We, uh. We definitely had some. Some fun back then, but. It makes me feel old seeing people grow up. I thought this was a. This just fall or something? I thought it was. It makes me feel old when. When, uh, when my friends are talking about, uh. Stuff. That they used growing up, like they had, uh, they had like an iPad growing up, and I'm like, you what? <laughs> and uh, you know, the the internet, like when I was when I was a child, the internet existed, right? Like the internet came out in like what 1980s or something like that. Like I'm not I'm not that old, but um, I won't say that it, like our our schools did not have internet. My my school did not have internet when I was uh, when I was growing up. There was there were barely computers in it, you know. We didn't have a computer lab. My my first school. There was no computer lab. Um, my my house had a computer. My my family had a computer growing up, but uh, my uh, my first school did not have a uh, did not have computers in it until like uh, a few years after I got in there, I believe. Um, at the very least, there there wasn't like a, a computer lab or anything. There, there might have been some computers in the offices and stuff. I I can't remember. I was very young at the time, you know. Um, there might have been some, oh my god, there might have been computers in the office and whatnot, but we'll give one more attempt. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't go in there often, I was like, seven, six years old or something like this. And, uh, yeah, it was just, um, no, no computer labs, right? It was all we, we played Beyblades and stuff outside. We had uh, like paper, paperwork. The yeah, it was, there were there were no phones. 
you know it was, it was, I'm not I'm not super old but like I was I uh, the very wee early ages of my life did not have uh, computers being like a, a major focus of uh, of my life whereas nowadays you know I don't know if I've been to any classrooms but I imagine that um, more modern classrooms are gonna have computers in their classroom right not necessarily for the students because you're probably still writing on uh, on paper I would imagine for how long I don't know but I imagine most schools are still handing out like paper assignments and stuff, but uh, I mean the 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 teacher probably has like a laptop or something, right? <laughs> like probably. That's my guess. Yeah, you got uh, you might have projectors or something like that. They plug their laptop into and show up like spreadsheets and stuff like that. No, we had the old-fashioned projectors, right? With, uh, with the, the sheets on it, they could draw on it. Honestly, I like those more personally anyway for school, so they might even still use them because they're just... It's easier for you to to use it as a as a teacher, I think, to, to like, write on it and, and show stuff and whatnot, but I don't know. I haven't been to school in almost a decade, so... What do I know, dude? What do I know? But, uh... Yeah, it makes, makes me feel old at times just thinking about uh, how much different technology is tonight like today for for the kids that are growing up today or even again for like friends who are like four or five years younger than me because like i said i'm not uh, i'm not that old but it was it was the wee years of my life where i grew up like uh before the the like surge of affordable computers brought about by like apple basically right much as you hate apple apple is a uh, a big part of of what makes um like technology what it is today even honestly you know, they, they made the first, like, smartphone kind of thing, and, like, the first good one, anyway. Uh, they had, like, touch screens, and they really, like, innovated a lot in the early days. Nowadays, it's, it's the exact same crap, and they're really kind of... Their phones are still fine. Their phones are still, like, fantastic, but... Other than that, I'm not I'm not super into Apple, but you, you gotta admit, towards the, um, the early days of, uh, of their inception, they, uh, they made some, some pretty huge strides towards improving just like the general world and like in general it was like definitely definitely for profit <laughs> it, w it was not a, a charity thing that they were doing they didn't uh, you know give out technology for free like you have to buy it but uh you know as they made computers a thing like we had max at school that was our first computers that i ended up uh really using so much at school no we did use pcs we had we had windows 98 or XP or something like that. Um, but uh, regardless, like, you know, Apple Apple made uh, a lot of improvements to uh, making PCs, phones, media players, all this kind of stuff just more accessible to, to people. So, um, you know, once, once they did that, then this was like early 2000s, right? Then all of a sudden, like everybody was having cell phones, and everybody was having, uh, at the very least, some kind of like mobile piece of, of tech in their pocket, right? Uh, laptops, you know, Macs, computers in general were just uh, leagues above what they were before for for affordability and accessibility. And it was it was like a sudden change in the early 2000s when uh, when when suddenly. Everyone was like, "Yes, we need phones," you know. And uh, I, I was, I was raised just before that kind of uh, change. And uh, so even people who are like four or five years younger than me, who I uh, talk with on the regular, you know, they, they came after that change, right? Where uh, where schools were starting to get computers in uh, computer labs and like recognizing that this is, you know, truly the future. And uh, perhaps I ra was raised in a, like, the, the school I went to. It doesn't exist anymore, right? Like it was, and it didn't exist for like shortly after I got in there, right? That's what I'm kind of talking about. It was kind of this this shift, and perhaps it was because I shift changed schools. You know, that that could have been a big part of what uh, what caused the shift, for sure. But um, in my experience, anyway, there was there was like kind of a, a year where we went from uh, computers and, and and phones and stuff like that being not uh, like super super rare but not being commonplace to all of a sudden being fairly commonplace you know
we had dozens of computers in our computer lab. We were being taught how to type all of a sudden, and uh, everybody had phones and cell phones. There were now rules about not being allowed to use your cell phone in class and stuff. And it was just, it was just like all of a sudden, you know. So it's. Uh, I almost wish I could go back. I, mean, I, w I wish I could go back and be uh, raised again, and like go through my 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 wee years. Uh, again, for a number of reasons, not the least of which being that uh, I'd love to be able to head back and um, work on transitioning a little bit earlier because that would be fantastic, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, also just, just to see what it's like to, to be a child growing up in, uh, in the current year. So it seems like it'd be very different to what I experienced. Oh my god, why do we get so many husks? What the heck? I hate this. I'm, are like all of the remaining dudes, it's a siren and just five husks. Oh my god. You just die. I don't even care. I don't know where the other dang husk is. But I don't want you to be alive, okay? You're, you're... How are they? They must have been lined up perfectly, those two husks, to just be shooting like constantly at me. That was brutal, dude. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, you look like crap. just kind of crazy to me. Hope you something. Kind of, kind of insane. Main Makes me feel old. <laughs> I am old though. I'm not, I'm not old, old, but I'm uh, you know, I feel like I'm past the threshold where where people look at well, look at me and think that I'm a child, perhaps, but uh, see my age, you know, recognize that I'm I'm 25 years old. I I don't think that many people are gonna gonna look at that and think that I'm a child any longer, you know. I think that for the most part, people think that uh, 25 years old is is an adult. I think that uh, you know, 20 years old, you're still kind of like, eh. You know, you're still you're still kind of childlike. 25 years old, they're like, oh yeah, you're you're like you're like a proper adult, you know. And I don't think that the threshold is 25 necessarily, but I think I think that most yeah, the threshold is different for everybody, you know. Um, at, w at what point do you think somebody's really like truly? grown up and, 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 and experienced enough in their life to be able to have valuable opinions. At, w at what point, you know, I don't think that 12 year olds have valuable opinions. I think that 12 year olds for the most part have interesting opinions, but um, not necessarily a valuable opinion. I don't think that we have to, to worry about listening to 12 year olds to get uh, their stances on um, politics and stuff. I don't think that's really relevant. But I think that most 25 year olds are going to have uh, Opinions that are relevant and and uh, important. I think that as a 25-year-old, that maybe even like 23, perhaps, you know, 24 for sure. 25, absolutely, definitely. I think that 25 is 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 past the threshold for a lot of people, for most people even. So I don't think that anybody really thinks of my age as a as a child, and that's kind of the uh, the thing, you know. My age is I'm definitely an adult. I'm firmly seated within adults' territory. I'm expected to have my uh, my head on my shoulders and and know what I'm doing, and I, uh, I don't. And nobody's disappointed in that. But uh, that's kind of what's uh, I don't know. In my opinion, expected of a 25-year-old. I always thought that I'd be uh, married by now. Honestly, I thought that by 25, I'd I wouldn't be uh, you know set in my life. But I definitely thought I'd be. Uh, you know, at least like a long-term relationship, and ain't no sign of that happening anytime soon. So, uh, <laughs> didn't really work out the way I had uh, initially intended, but, you know, it's not disappointing, it's just uh, different. I think that a lot of people have expectations of themselves that uh, end up disappointing them, and they feel bad, and they feel like they have to line up that I don't. So, yeah, I'm happy with my life, I'm pretty content with where I'm at, and doesn't really matter that I didn't get what I wanted to get done cuz I'm still I'm still having a good time so whether it's what I wanted or not it's it's a good thing right but uh definitely I'm old I'm past the threshold of uh of young at this point is is the moral of the story can you die already I want to get my money give me my money Anyway, somehow we went from talking about uh, 
getting rid of gay marriage to um, me being old. I don't know how the, the topics jump around sometimes. You know, it just pops into my head and I talk about it. It's kind of the nice thing about uh, talking to yourself. <laughs> Is uh, you don't have to worry about uh, like continui con continuity. Oh, there's a. Th I don't think that you guys can hear it, but my father has turned on his compressor in the uh, in the garage across from me. It's, it's Thanksgiving. My family is home. Nobody works today. It's the day off, right? It's a stat holiday, and uh, it's a bank day if you live in the UK. It's bank holiday, rather. Um, I don't think that uh, the UK has Thanksgiving. I, I, I'm pretty sure that you don't, right? Because it's it's like uh, it has to do with like wars and stuff that uh, we fought, <laughs> more or less. I mean, I guess I guess you guys were like kind of involved anyway. We have Thanksgiving. I don't know if uh, if the UK has Thanksgiving. I don't think so though. But it's uh, over here. It's a, a statutory holiday. Everybody gets it off, except for the people who don't, but even the people who don't get extra pay for it, which is, uh, is cool. I get neither the day off, nor extra pay. <laughs> but uh, I also I don't have anything else to do. What am, what am I going to do today? I'm going to go to the store. No, I already got enough groceries, dude. I ended up buying too much groceries the last time I went out. I bought too much food. I'm having to throw some food out, and it feels bad. So I made, uh, I made my stir fry, I made leftover stir fry. I ended up making enough for like five days. <laughs> and I didn't eat it on all those five days because I'm also like, well, I have to like use up this other food that I have that I also bought. I'm just like, I don't know how to use all this stuff up, dude. I have to like eat more than I want to eat, but I don't want to do that. So it's just going to get thrown out, but um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's, I don't know. I bought too much food. So this week, I, uh, I have leftover food still. Like, I wanted to buy enough food for a week. I bought more. I knew I bought more. Um, but I didn't think I bought this much more. Like, I still have the entire can of yogurt that I bought in the fridge. I haven't touched it at all. I have two bags of, like, uh, dumplings still sitting in the fridge. I have a bag of pierogies. Half of an onion, which I'm going to have to throw up because it's kind of not so great anymore. Because it's, like, it's been sitting there for a week. I thought I'd use it up quicker. Oh, jeez. So I didn't end up... Oh, jeez. You're going to do this to me? I couldn't bash. I hit the bash button, it did not bash. A bag of progies in there with an onion, some green onions and stuff. I got eggs, I got uh, just a lot of stuff in there, dude. Stuff that I haven't used, I got buns that I have to throw out. Like, ah, uh, it feels bad. It's a bought more. So this week when I go shopping, which I'm not going to go shopping today, I'm going to go shopping probably on like t Thursday, honestly. Like, I just, I have so much food. Um, when I go shopping again, I'm going to make sure that I, uh, I think the problem is about too much variety. So throughout the week, I'm like, what do I eat today? And I just eat that and I eat this. And I just have, I have like bits of everything that's just left. So I have to buy, buy less variety. Kind of make the variety go week to week rather than uh, day to day. But um, you live and learn, right? You live and learn. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. We did not get a Hell on Earth win, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> it's a hard map. It's a hard map, honestly, it is. And... Uh, what can you do, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. We're going to be doing some more Black Forest next time. Because I still have to get Hell on Earth done. So, you know. <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye.